Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to Brazil for another episode of our contracting company out here doing contracts and things. And speaking of contracts, you probably saw in a, a couple of short clips in the intro there, I cashed in a number of contracts. And there were actually three more that I'd cashed in, but like a bit of a plum, I accidentally got my recording all backwards and forwards and basically didn't record those three and um, I want to say they were four grand six grand and like three or five something like that like four five and six grand I think was what they were um, nothing major or out of uh, out of the thing but uh, definitely you know they were contracts that were in process and were completed now as you can see we are up here at the shop with our flatbed and our old planter so I'm gonna drop them off now the reason we're oops, not reverse uh, the reason we're dropping that off specifically is because we are going to purchase ourselves yet again a different flatbed <laughs> now uh, up in the sales I'm hoping it's still there yes there we go uh, this class C 450 455 460 uh, lizard flatbed lizard logistics flatbed there has popped up it's a bit longer than the one we've got i think but uh, it should do just fine for some things uh, now we are going to reconfigure it slightly as this for now um we could well uh, you know change it back to the other at some point it, it depends on how long this thing is i mean it does look quite long and i don't think we can actually change the length of it can we no and that's fine uh, but yeah, so we're going to purchase that while we can and let's see how redonkulously long it is compared to uh okay no it's not that bad it's just slightly longer but nothing severe now hopefully this will hook up a little little bit better to this tractor uh, it's not the best but it's also not the worst okay yeah i will have to uh figure that out can we raise and lower that thing anymore no i'm not getting any i think that's the uh, thing isn't it I know what's... Some, something's going up and down i can i can fi feel it what is it that's going up and down something is definitely going up and down what does it say it doesn't say anything there. Yeah, oh well, maybe it's just in just in my mind. Uh, but yeah, we'll get these two things sold quick. Uh, okay, so we'll sell that for three grand. And uh, in fact, let's uh, repair it for eleven, repaint it for sixteen hundred, and hopefully we'll be able to sell it for more than fifty-five. Yeah, fifty-seven. Yeah, we we made a little bit back on that couple of hundred uh, this one uh, we'll do the same as well repair repaint and sell okay so that's got us a little bit of money back uh, in fact I think slightly more than what we spent on this trailer which actually isn't that bad so let's get this over oops crikey no oh, oh dear that's all gone a bit wrong uh, yeah the idea was to get this over here out of the way a little bit because oh crumbs doing it all wrong here there we go lower it lower the flaps then drop that off okay yeah because what i'm going to try and do if i can is roll this planter up onto it i'm hoping it will let me do that it should fingers crossed i mean it's got uh, got plenty of wheels on it so we'll soon see but yes this was the um the nice big planter that we bought last episode and how, how wrong have i got this very wrong okay let's go forwards please okay well, at least it's got a pretty good pivot on it that's good i was a tiny bit concerned it might not uh, not doing, I'm stuck in the tree again there. And now I've zoomed in, I can't see anything. 
Let's try it from ah, there. We go. That's better. Now this is the part where I hope it works. Not exactly straight, but there we go. Okay, actually it wasn't that that far off, and that is going up there nicely. So I'll put that as far along as I can. Okay, that should be good. Hopefully this isn't going to send the uh, front end of the tractor into the sky. If it does, we might look at putting weights on the front of it quick. But okay, we can raise that. There we go. Put some straps on. And I think we are good. Let's get this back to base then. A little bit. Yeah, I think the... Uh, Oh, and we're stuck. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh, that's the one problem with this tractor, is for some reason it's got a really low hitch on it. Oh, there we go. Got it over the edge. I'll have to check that out and see if there's uh, anything we can do with the hitch to raise it up a bit. Or, uh, I know we bought that um, What's It bar. I didn't think to use that at the time, but there we go. We are on the uh, on the track again, so yeah, maybe this may, maybe it's the tractor more than it is the um, uh, the flatbeds that we keep purchasing. <laughs> but uh, uh, either way, I shall get this back to the thing if I can. Yes, yeah, lifting the front up slightly, or it's pushing the back down, or slightly, ever so slightly off balance. Uh, but yeah, I'll get this back to the yard quick and uh, hopefully not crash into a tree. He says going sideways. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll be heading out to do a contract with our new cedar, finally, that we bought a couple of episodes ago, the old Lemkin one. So I shall see you in a field, in a minute, with a tractor and a cedar, that aren't these two things. <laughs> Alrighty, we are down here now, back again at field 27, with uh, our lovely new Stara and our lovely new Lemkin. Oh, yes, I figured we might as well finally get to use some of these uh, these new bits of kit that we bought. So uh, let me check the contract and see what we are doing. Oh yes, we've still got the um, harvest on field 53 to finish as well. Um, I think it's all emptied out and in the uh, truck now, so uh, someone needs to just deliver that to the, um, the thing down here. So uh, we'll get that off and running in a bit. Uh, 27 sorghum, okay, let's switch our thing over down there, I think that's sorghum, let's get this thing opened out, yeah, it's a slightly better working width than our previous cedars, so with any luck this shouldn't take too long, he says hopefully, drop it down and give it a go see how fast we can run 15 kilometers per hour that's not bad that's what about eight nine miles an hour something like that not half bad uh, so yeah we are currently doing this contract now uh, and we'll finish off that other one that will get, a get us a little bit of cash then uh, we're gonna roll over into February and we'll also be switching down to one day months as well just to uh, to make time pass a little bit quicker without too much sort of jumping between time as it were uh, because I mean we'll still be jumping from month to month obviously yeah. but um, yeah just to sort of progress the seasons a little bit quicker now because we are looking at uh, rolling into the uh, another sugarcane season in the not too distant future and uh, that will probably be the last um, season that we do here on this series I would think it depends on how it goes because uh, obviously we've got our fields to work with uh, I'm looking at maybe buying a couple of others if I can in advance um, or maybe during maybe that will be part of the process we'll uh, get ours done first get some cash buy the other ones because uh, we are going to be testing out some new sugarcane equipment this year, hopefully. Yes, it's, uh, it should be interesting. But obviously that will come later on in the year. Not sure when exactly, but a little bit of struggling getting up the hill here. 
changing gears down there yet, sir. Surprisingly steep incline. I mean, we should be fine. I don't think this uh, set cruise control off. And yeah, uh, let's just see what the um, thing is for this. It's uh, only 120 horsepower, so this tractor should be more than capable of doing it. Uh, might just be the tyres or uh, a little bit of the uh, the mud on the field, possibly just slowing us down a bit. Or uh, it could even be the weight in the back as well. You know, it's it's not a, a light cedar. This I'm sure. You know, it's uh, it's got 4,000 litres of seed in it, which is. Oops, missed that corner just a little bit, but uh, yeah, 4,000 litres of seed, which is a lot more than we've uh, we've been carrying previously. And it's going down nice and slowly as well, that's good. Now, I want to say this is a 6 metre one. 5 or 6, I think 6. Let's have another quick look. Uh, oh, it's 8, even better. I knew it was a good way bit bigger than the last cedars we've got because uh, the rest of them are um, a lot smaller. I think the uh, Stara is the biggest of the other one. Cool dear, we're having a right old mare getting up here. I wonder why that is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just the, uh, the top of the hill, I suppose. Now, yeah, we'll figure it out though. Do a couple more headlands and then start going up and down and everything and should be fine but yeah this is definitely uh definitely making the job go by a bit quicker i think between the uh the track yeah it could could just be the gearing on this tractor's a little bit uh yeah there's a lot of shifting going on here <laughs> i don't think it has uh, another transmission option but uh yeah we'll work with what we've got bung it in medium range maybe oh there we go that's better yeah right up there quick i think the thing was he was trying to cycle through all the gears rather than uh, just jumping straight up to one that was more than acceptable <laughs> but that's okay uh yeah so we've got a little bit of work to do here i'll uh, run around and get this contract finished off and uh, we'll likely see uh, in a little bit while i'm doing this uh, we'll see Carla. Carla, I think, was the one that was working the uh, the truck during the other contract. So we'll likely see her dropping off the uh, the grain and completing that other contract before um, we skip over into February. Uh, so yes, I shall continue with this and we shall come back uh, in the next month and see where things stand. Because we've got some work to do on our fields as well. There's a lot of seeding going on today. It's a very seedy episode, this one. <laughs> We are back again, and it is now February. It still says February 1, though, because apparently it won't change until the end of the season, or the start of the next season, but we are now set to one-day months. Uh, as, as you can see here from the, uh, if we ignore the loud chirping bird there, cawing at us, uh, our field here is totally full of weeds, but that's not a problem, because we'll come over and... Uh, crush that with our um, uh, thing, uh, di our direct drill when we come to seed this with, uh, I think we're doing wheat next. And oh, it's actually going to need some pH added to it. So we might be adding that first, then drilling it. Okay, so slight change of plan there. Uh, but the reason we are down here at this particular location is in order to facilitate the selling of delicious sweets without taking up an entire episode loading and driving and doing that or having it on the massively discounted uh, auto selling mode we've installed a nice sell point for ourselves a mobile um what's it mobile sell point which is the uh, i named it the 
sugar sweet shop mobile cell point something like that it's not actually showing up and telling us what the name of it is here uh, oh and you can see here we've got uh, uh, somebody one of the people working on a contract over here doing that field I did pick up a couple more while um, when I first woke up so we've got uh, cultivating happening there seeding happening on 44 and uh, planting on 20 I think or the other way around one of the two uh, but we'll get onto those in a bit but uh, yeah where are we we are up here uh, yes the sweetest mobile candy shop sell point is what we've got uh, so basically rather than um, driving around everywhere I figured every once in a while we'll bring this over here it will start uh, selling some of the stuff there we go we made 15 grand from that and I don't actually want to leave that there because I think if I do I'm not sure if any more will spawn out we should oh crumbs hello it is spawning more pick it up you silly person yes it is spawning and oh, it's not started selling it again maybe I need to back away and then come back up to oh there we go yes so there's some more sold and well we are getting a nice bit of profit off this and there should be a little bit more honey candy and regular candy to pop out is that it that is it okay so we'll get these last three done oh I have to go out of range again I think okay back out and back in there we go lovely another seventh of that actually worked out quite well indeed uh, we've still got six of these no 12 of those uh, those will probably take up to the sell point because we don't usually get too many of them but uh, yeah for now um, that is the way we are going to be dealing with our delicious delicious candy so it's sort of automatic but not uh, not with the uh, giant price drop uh, anyway so what we are going to do is run over this way because I'd got our uh, Stara we dropped it off at our field the other day after that um, sorghum contract so that we can get chased by that loud chirpy bird again and <laughs> so that we can uh, start sowing or planting or seeding or whatever it is we're doing putting wheat in the ground and in fact I forgot to check that field as well it might be in need of uh, a little bit of TLC also it, would you stop in which case we may have to make another change of plans quick how are we doing? okay this one's mostly okay for pH uh, obviously we will have to come back out and hit it with the old uh, nitrogen so I need to make sure we're on wheat pretty sure it is wheat that we are doing at this time of year uh, yes wheat that is the only viable crop for us at the moment which is good because we need the straw for our other things and speaking of which blimey our um, sell point and uh, not sell point production for the uh, harvest goods let me find this all the way down here there it is the uh, straw tableware and the um, wood chip briquettes as you can see we are getting a bit full so we may even have to do a run on selling some of the tableware so uh, yeah that's uh, oh and uh, the reason it's showing the briquettes as distributing is because I'd moved a few out of the way there was like three I think uh, had spawned so I moved them out of the way and send it to distributing so it's just the tableware that's uh, that's spawning so what we will have to do is did I lower it? I did not um, yeah so what we'll have to do is uh, I've got the forklift over there already but we'll probably um, just drive the little truck over with the um, flatbed back on it and load that up with uh, a half dozen or so crates of tableware and go sell that as well 
and we're getting to the point now where we may even pay off um, some more of our loan because we've got a lot of stuff that's actually fairly ready to sell now because oh yeah the reason this field looks like this is because I de-stoned it with our uh, bucket I did that off camera uh, there's a pile of it actually sat next to the field which I show you on the way round but uh, yeah I'm not sure quite what we're going to do with that stone um, I mean we could sell it for a minuscule amount but uh, we'll probably just leave it on the side of the field or delete it at some point <laughs> but uh, yeah it's a, it's a little patchy because there weren't stones in every single spot there were quite a few stones but um, they weren't in every single patch so I didn't have to go sort of I went up and down a kind of in rows but didn't uh, pay massive attention to it and it was cultivated as well so that is all good yeah we're just coming around it's just on the other side basically where we started was a small pile of stones I want to say it was probably a couple of thousand liters maybe there were a lot of big stones on this field that was the key the big old stones but uh, yeah they're, they're not worth much um, so yeah it's not not really a great deal of reason to you know continue pulling them out and dealing with them unless we have to uh, there it is yeah you can just see it over there hiding under the tree Let's pull up here quick yeah it's a fairly fairly big pile of stones a few thousand liters like I say so reverse I know I should really be doing this uh, uh, what's it in the um, the infield first then the uh, headlands but oh well luckily it doesn't impact the farm or the uh, farmland in the game so we are good to go there uh, but yes only <coughs> excuse me so we will need to get some fertilizer on this one as well at some point uh, we'll probably do the rounds that might be next episode we'll uh, get the old fertilizer out uh, oh that's another thing actually our fertilizer sprayer um or the uh, not the sprayer but the production that has been tonking away and we've got uh, just over fifty thousand liters of liquid fertilizer and herbicide now there is no way we are going to need fifty thousand liters of herbicide so oh, i've got to back up and make sure I do that I don't know why the map is suddenly large get rid of that um, yeah so uh, what was I saying um, oh yeah the herbicide and the liquid fertilizer most likely what we are going to do with that is actually sell some probably about half of the fertilizer and maybe two-thirds of the herbicide because the herbicide we are not going to go through particularly quickly at all and uh, whether or not we make any more of that, I don't know. We might make some to sell. You know, that's that's always an option. Uh, obviously, this time around, it's more of a case of we've suddenly made a lot on the first run and way more than I was expecting. So, uh, yeah, there'll be a little bit of income coming in from that as well. Uh, yeah, so I shall continue on with this. In fact, what we might even do is get a little montage going of assorted planting. Because if I do this, then uh, I'll drop this off, hand it off to um, Carla, maybe. Uh, someone can take it out with the uh, New Holland and get working on one of those contracts. And then uh, we'll get uh, get to work doing the uh, the planting as well because I'll need to uh, go through and do our fields with uh, what's that white stuff the lime yeah get the lime on possibly both of our fields uh, certainly that one down by the sweet shop definitely needs a, a hit of lime first but uh, yeah I think that's what we'll do we'll have a bit of a montage get some uh, some farming action with the old drone uh, we'll bust out the field corp cameraman from his uh, little white plastic uh, golf chair and <laughs> see, uh, see how it all goes.
Okay, here we are coming up to this field we have to do for contract. And while the uh, thing is unfolding, let's have a quick look at the contracts. So, yep, as you saw, we've done uh, a bit of seeding and stuff in the uh, montage there. Seeding and sowing and planting and whatnot. And liming as well, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, we got our cultivating contract to cash in and a sowing contract to cash in. Now, if I pop down here and have a look, there's a couple of other contracts we had our eyes on. Uh, specifically, aha, yes, this one, fertilizing in field 47. So we're going to grab that, and I think Lucas has already headed down there for that. Uh, and there were, oh yes, there are a number of rather tasty uh, sunflower planting contracts, which we can hopefully do with our very nice planter. Oh yeah, there's uh, loads of them. So, oh, and we've got some spraying contracts as well. So I think what we are going to do is grab that one, because that'll be nice and easy. And then we are going to start work on this here seeding contract with our fancy new well, planting contract with our fancy new planter. Now I had a bit of a mare getting this thing to actually fill with seeds. That was. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, it didn't seem to want to open up for either the production or the um, uh, the seed storage that we had. Nor would it open up for either of the two um, sort of auger wagon seed tendery looking things we had. So I ended up having to shove some bags of seed in it. It, it would refill from them. So I don't know if I need to get a different seed tender or a conveyor belt, maybe, that uh, we can use to get seed out of something up in the air into it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. We will figure it out. I shall have to do some testing later on and see. But nonetheless, uh, we are doing overall quite well. And that is good. March is fast approaching. Now we've been keeping our eye on the price of uh, the uh, harvest tableware because that is due to hit maximum fairly soon, I think. So if we have a quick look, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, it's currently over a thousand, uh, over three thousand. Make sure I'm still there. We go, pointed in the right direction. Yeah, it's over three thousand, and according to this, it's going to be May when it's at its best. So I think what we're going to do is get this contract finished here and then hop over and sell, um, I think I'd loaded up a lorry, uh, the flatbed, with about um, 10 or so pallets, I think. Uh, yeah, sounds about right, about 10 or so pallets. Uh, mainly just enough to sort of clear the storage so it had plenty of room to chunter along. So uh, yeah, we'll... Um, we can ever get up this hill. I'm not sure what our gearbox is doing. It's having a bit of a mare. I mean, again, it's it's a surprisingly steep hill. You know, as uh, sort of flowing as the landscape is around here, it does have some surprisingly steep bits in it. And maybe we'd be better using the uh, Steiger for this, possibly. We'll have to see. But uh, for the most part, this seems to be working okay, so... Yeah, it might just be uh, we do a little bit of side to side up here on the uh, the heavy part of the ridge, and then when we get down into the main part of the field, it'll be uh, a little easier. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a couple of headlands and then do side to side. Start up at that big end and work down here. It should be just fine. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to continue on with this for now. And yeah, we've already seen a fair bit of planting, fair bit of montage work, and uh, seeding and whatnot. So I don't want to put you through too much of that. And uh, yeah, we are doing very nicely money-wise. We are up quite a lot. Uh, I do. Hmm. We'll see how much we get at the end when we sell off that uh, little spot of tableware that we've got loaded on the truck and uh, probably pay off some of the loan. I'm thinking maybe another 30, 40 grand, 50 grand, maybe something like that. 
perhaps whatever we get from the early uh, tableware sales we'll use to uh, to pay off a portion of the loan yeah that might be the way to do it uh, so yeah anyway I'm going to carry on with this contract we'll get this done as quick as we can and uh, hopefully time will pass and uh, the price of uh, or the sale price of that stuff will go up a little bit because it is let's see well what was it again yeah, it's 31.53 and declining at the co-op container sales. But, I mean, so long as it stays over three grand at the Sweet Treats wholesale place, uh, we'll take it up there and just, just drop it off. You know, we're not uh, not trying to gain the price too much because, you know, it is going to come up a lot higher in the future. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yes, let me plod on with this and see how far we can get. Okay, we are back and we're just coming up to the end of this first first of many sunflower contracts. Yeah, we should be about 98-99% complete now, so we'll just get to the end of this and then uh, start, uh, start cashing a couple in. Uh, one of the workers got finished down on field 47, I think it was, the Mahusive uh, fertilising contract. And hopefully maybe one more oh there we go excellent all done now there is another seeding contract that i was looking at for this one planting seeding planting something like that <laughs> uh, let's just get off the field here oh that was having a bit of an issue driving up the hill while it was folding i probably should have stopped and waited for that to finish <laughs> But uh, yeah, let's get just up here onto this bit, figure out uh, which direction we're going in. So uh, yeah, we've completed these two, 47 fertilising and 44 sowing. Uh, if we go down here, I was looking at getting, there we are, field 20 for fertilising. We'll grab that and uh, seeding sowing, uh, field 18. So we're going to grab that one as well. So, in fact, it looks like all of these are 18, 19, 24, 25. I think they're all roughly down in the same area. Uh, I'm not sure why it was on that one. Uh, yep, yeah, 18, 19, 24, where's 25? Was it 24 and 25 or 23 and 24? 24 and 25, okay, where's 25? Oh, it's that one right there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so uh, it looks like what we'll do then is, uh, well, in fact, we might be able to set this chappy off doing this. I think that's Lucas. I'm not 100% sure, but let's create a job for Lucas. Course play, field work, set them up around about there. And get that, yep, yeah, just the one headland. Bosh, lovely, and start the job. Hopefully they will drive off and get that on the go without going too far. That looks reasonable. Uh, we have Carla, I think she might be finished. Oh no, she's still, she's still going up here. She's doing uh, some rolling on our fields up there, and then she'll head down to 14 and do that one. Uh, I am going to go from here over to field 18. Okay, it's a pretty pretty easy shot, so let's start heading over to there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go go over that way. Oh, nice, we're up to 422. That's perfect. Uh, yes, so we're going to head over there. I'll drop the tractor off and then huff it up to grab the lorry so we can uh, do a quick bit of selling on the uh yeah just to end the episode on a bit of selling and some paying off of the loan okay let's see can we nip around the back side i think we can well we might have to cut across the grass yeah okay i thought there was a uh, little road down the back here but it's on the other side of the field okay not a problem we'll just cut around this way pick up the road yeah it's just up there I mean that's the field so 
Well, let's just cut across here and go straight for the field then. Why not? <laughs> uh, yep, so I'll leave this here and uh, come back and finish. Get this contract done off camera, most likely. Actually, let's just pull off the road in case anyone needs to drive past. There we go, just hang out on this grass staging area. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a nice walk in the sun. And uh, yeah, get the... Uh, get the lorry and see you all on the way down to whatever cell point we're going to i think let's just check might as well check now uh where are we harvest table where yeah it looks like the co-op container sales is going to be the place to go so i shall be back down here uh very shortly because it's actually not that far away so that'll set me up nicely for getting on uh, on with field 18. Alrighty, we are back. There goes Carla off um, rolling this field as we are heading out with our suspiciously not overloaded lorry for once. <laughs> yes, just uh, 10 crates of lovely uh, biodegradable harvest tableware. And we are heading down to the co op container sales now. I have to, I have to be careful because this does still. Uh, wobble a little bit because everything's loaded up quite high i mean i say quite high it's only stacked too high but it can get a bit tippy if i go too fast around corners now i think i've gone all the wrong way oh there we go bit tippy bit tippy <laughs> yes trying to go too fast down these sort of back roads and yeah that would not have ended well if i was not being careful <laughs> but yes the cell point should be uh, not too far up here in fact there we can just see the back of it now up on the hill there so we are going to follow this road i think at the field we're harvest well not harvesting uh the field we're sowing is just over that side there so when we get done selling this, we can just come straight around. And uh, yeah, we'll just go down there. Yeah, there it is. Our tractor's just there through the, uh, the woods. Perfect. So we should be getting at least three grand a pop for these, which will be very nice. Watch out for the uh, suspicious off-camber thing. Corner. Last thing I want to do is dump this load of... Uh, biodegradable tableware into the drink <laughs> if it falls into that lake back there it may just dissolve <laughs> it's made of sugar and straw so hmm yes but let's see what we can get for it hopefully a good amount and we are looking like we're in a uh, pretty solid position as well now for the coming sugar cane so oh cracky back it up a bit lovely 15 grand and well 16 and 16 plus another two and a half so yeah that's rather nice indeed which means as i promised we are going to pay off some more of our loan we've got uh, how much do we have we've got 57 you know what i think we're going to pay 60 grand off of this we'll knock it back down to there we go 200 thousand so we've got just under 400 grand again. Now, I know that's a little bit, uh, you know, sort of anticlimactic in a way, making all this money and then just giving it right back to the bank. But in the long run, that will help us out, I think. And uh, what we are going to do here is pull out into the road, hopefully not in front of anyone for a change. <laughs> and uh yeah we'll head off up and we'll get that uh oh lovely uh well there's another field that's finished uh, let's cash that contract in quick that was somebody doing that fertilizer there we go lovely job another eight grand so we are now back up over four hundred thousand. fantastic and uh yeah we'll get uh get that weeding spraying contract done off camera probably and maybe a few more of those and um, yeah a, an assortment of other contracts again and next episode will be into march possibly april see how things go and uh, 
uh, yeah, we shall continue on our way towards the uh, sugarcane harvest. So with that, I shall park up here and hop in my trusty tractor. We'll have someone come down and pick that up later on or come figure something out. <laughs> but yes, I do hope you've all enjoyed whatever this was. Oops, wrong gear. Forwards, please. There we go. Uh, yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed whatever this was. Uh, and if you have, do please hit the old like button there. And if you have not subscribed, do also please consider hitting that too. And uh, comments are always welcomed. And if you would like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And once this unfolds, lovely. Let's get some more sunflower into the ground. And I shall see you all next time. Uh, cheerio everyone <laughs>